For me personally, Rocket League was the first video game I played that had a ranking system. I started playing in 2016 during OG Season 3, which lasted 9 whole months. By far the longest season Rocket League has ever had. So I never experienced a season rank reset until the change between Old Season 3 and Old Season 4, where there was an entire new rank system. On that update, I excitedly queued up for ranked for the first time, seeing that I no longer had a rank, it just said unranked, so I didn't know exactly why that was, but I assumed it was for a reason, so I didn't worry much about it. But unfortunately for me, that ranked session ended up being the worst session I've ever had, even to this day, four years later. And there's a very particular reason for that, related to the start of that season specifically. It also has to do with the fact that the start of this new season, Free to Play Season 3, is currently giving longtime players flashbacks to this horrible experience from four years ago. So what's the deal with all this? Why are rank resets such a controversial topic? And what does the general community think about the start of the latest season? Before we get into that, allow me to thank today's sponsor, the Red Magic 6. The Red Magic 6 is the best gaming phone out there right now, at least in my opinion. This thing is an actual beast. If you're into mobile gaming at all, I definitely recommend checking this out. They sent me one, and when I tried it out, the entire experience of it is just like no other phone I've ever used before. The screen has 165 hertz, which is the same I have on my actual computer monitor. And it also has 500 hertz touch refresh rate, which basically means it's super accurate to your inputs. The engineering behind this whole thing is just genius. The way the internals are organized just makes it the best experience you could ask for, so it stays cool and doesn't overheat, while also having really good processing power. It's designed specifically for gamers. It even has 400 hertz shoulder triggers that you can use for certain games, and a fingerprint sensor right there on the screen that's super quick to use. It's a great phone on its own for when you want to use it that way, and also a great gaming device at the same time. When Rocket League Sideswipe comes out, you already know I'm going to be playing it on here. There really are so many great features about this that I couldn't possibly list all here at the same time, so if you want to learn more, click the link in the description to check it out. Thanks to Red Magic for sponsoring the video, and let's get back into it. Our story begins back in 2016, Rocket League Season 3. When this season first started, most people seemed to have a pretty positive mentality about the direction the game was heading. The only big common complaint about the ranks was that barely anyone was able to reach Grand Champion, the highest rank at the time. At the start, it only included approximately the top 0.005% of players. Much of the player base considered this way too little, so a couple months after the season started, Rocket League made an article announcing a competitive rank recalibration. Basically, they addressed the issue and implemented a solution where over the next few weeks, people's ranks would inflate dramatically so that Grand Champion would go from being the top 0.005% of players to the top 0.2%. This doesn't seem like that much of a change, but it's actually 40 times as common of a rank after this change. Clearly, much more than you would think. So essentially, if you were somewhere in the top 3 or 4 ranks, within a short time, you would jump all the way to the highest rank without even needing to improve as a player. To some players, they thought this was a great thing. Free ranks, dude. But to others, it made the grind feel very unrewarding, which is where the controversy really picked up. The thing is, this wouldn't have been too big of an issue, but what made it such a big problem was that this wasn't just a normal season. Rocket League Season 3 ended up lasting more than twice as long as the previous. So as it dragged on through the long nine months, you started to see more and more complaints about the rank system again, but this time coming from the opposite end. Now people were saying Grand Champion was way too easy. The rank change ended up being way too harsh because of how long the season lasted. Although the official rank distributions were never publicly released, many people speculated that the highest rank had even become more common than the rank below it. By the time the season was over, the title you got for reaching Grand Champion was considered meaningless by many. And for the next few seasons, anyone who decided to wear a Season 3 Grand Champion tag was putting themselves at a huge risk of getting flamed by others in-game. So why am I talking about this now? Well, the main reason is we are once again in competitive Season 3 of Rocket League, and Psyonix has decided to inflate the ranks again! At the start of this season, they made all the ranks from around Diamond to Grand Champion significantly easier to get to. Basically meaning that if you were a Champion 3 last season, you'll now automatically be at around Grand Champion 1, even if you haven't improved as a player. You can now see why some OG players were getting flashbacks to 2016 from this. So I asked you guys what you thought about this in a survey, and most of you were actually pretty happy about the changes. I don't think I saw anyone that was like, yeah, this is awesome, but at the end of the day, a free rank up is a free rank up, is what a lot of you said. 
but the ones that weren't happy about it often seemed to be pretty passionate, saying things like, The changes are stupid. I literally hate the new MMR change. And oh my goodness, thank you for asking. They killed the game completely. Honestly, I see where these guys are coming from. Imagine you spend over 1,000 hours grinding for Grand Champion and seeing that as your final competitive goal before you relax and just play for fun whenever you want. At the end of one season, you come within a few games of reaching it, but can't quite make it. Then, at the start of the next, you just place directly into it without even needing to grind. Just like that, your 1,000 hour journey was ended through seemingly consolation. If that was your end goal for competitive Rocket League, that's gotta be one of the most disappointing and unrewarding ways to achieve it. So considering people are getting this frustrated with this minor change of like one full rank difference, you can imagine how outraged some players must have been when they changed it by like three ranks and it was putting everyone straight into the highest rank. If those players in 2016 knew that that season was going to last for like five more months after just being given the highest rank for free, I'm sure a ton of them would have just quit right then and there because there's nothing left in the rank system to grind to. The only motivation left to keep grinding at that point would be actually improving at the game itself, which unfortunately isn't that big of a motivator for a lot of people if there aren't any specific milestones to measure. So for those of you who hate the new change, I feel ya. I see where you're coming from. But at the same time, let's try to be thankful they didn't just boost everyone up three entire ranks like they did in the original Season 3. There's at least something to be thankful for. So every time I see people talking about this issue with rank resets and new seasons, it makes me wonder why we have new seasons in the first place. Not every competitive game even has seasons. For example, CSGO, obviously a very popular game, seasons don't even exist there. There's no rank resets or anything. Your rank is your rank, and it helps keep a lot of that controversy within the community out of the way. But at the same time, there are some downsides to it. The reason we have rank resets in Rocket League in the first place is to keep players active, so when they lose their rank, they have reason to play the game even more than normal and get their rank back. It's also pretty fun to see where you end up after not seeing your rank for 10 games. So taking away seasons definitely isn't something Psyonix wants to do or should do, but maybe there's a way to solve the controversy behind rank resets by determining what makes a good reset from a bad one. To figure out what makes a good rank reset, let's first define what it is and the two main types of resets. A rank reset in Rocket League is when every player in the game gets their rank taken away from them and then needs to do 10 placement matches again to determine their rank. They still have a hidden skill rating, so the matchmaking will continue to be equal, but their rank is essentially invisible to them. This also makes each player's rank more flexible, meaning that your wins and losses can change your rank by even more. So during the middle of the season, it might take you 10 wins or 10 losses in a row to go up or down a full rank. But during your first few matches after a rank reset, it might only take you 5 to go up or down a full rank, because your rank is much more flexible. After each game though, your rank becomes less and less flexible until you reach that mid-season baseline again where every game counts the same. On these same lines, there are two different types of rank resets. There's a soft reset, where you basically move the players down a little bit so they have to grind back up to where they originally were, which only takes about a week depending on your rank. And there's also a hard reset, where every single player gets moved all the way down to the same rank and you let chaos ensue and allow the better players to win and the worst players to lose. This is basically the brute force strategy for fixing inflated ranks, and both of these strategies have been used in Rocket League before. Remember when I was talking in the intro about the worst rank session of my life? Yeah, that was because they did a hard reset at the start of Season 4. They realized they inflated the ranks in Season 3 way too much, so they had to drop everyone down a ton to counteract it. It wasn't even a full-on hard reset because not everyone started at the exact same rank, but pushing everyone so close together definitely made it feel like one. When I queued up on that day, I was probably in the bottom 20% of players, so since every skill level was so close, there was a very high chance that I would be going against someone better. And that's exactly what happened in every game. I lost almost every single placement match, which are the ones where your rank is most flexible on. After the 10 games, I placed directly into Bronze 1. You can imagine how that hit my ego. So I think it's safe to say that hard resets should only be used in the most desperate of circumstances, like how it was in Season 3. After looking at how the community has reacted to each rank reset for each season, it makes the most sense to me to only do soft resets by moving each player down about one full rank at the start of each season to allow them to grind back up. Although it might make people a little upset by being slightly lower at the start of each season, it seems to be the right balance between feeling like you need to grind to get back to where you were, while also not putting you way down low so you feel completely unmotivated. And that's definitely a cost I'm willing to take if it means we're going to prevent another Season 3 from happening. 
I'm not saying this is the objective best way to do rank resets. I'm not calling myself an expert on this stuff because there are definitely other strategies that you can make good arguments for, but this is just what makes the most sense to me. Because personally, as long as we don't have another Rocket League Season 3, I don't think you'll find me complaining too much about the rank system. Anyway, that's about it. Be sure to hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.